I like architecture because it gives me an opportunity to bring um, all of the other, all of the, th the things that are in the world sort of together. Um, there's a lot of different disciplines that are involved in architecture, everything from math to art to, um, you know, to science. It's, it's a whole, it's a way to bring a lot of different things together. Um, um, I, I just, I love the creativity of it. It's just fun. It's just you get to come uh, to work or to school every day and just kind of uh, just play a lot of the times. Um, I'm a big fan of this Japanese guy called of, Kingo um, who does. It's really um, clean and sort of simple, but um, it's really, uh, I guess the beauty of it's sort of in the details. And he does a lot of wooden, like, w uh, work with wood screens and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Japanese. I'm really, I'm really into vernacular architecture. I'm really into, which is the architecture of, um, you know, low arch low buildings. You know, not necessarily high, you know, high architecture. Many schools in our district are poorly designed. The halls are crowded, the classes are being held out of the building and in the portables, the rooms are inefficient and don't meet the needs of the students, handicap access ramps are inadequate in many schools, natural light is not being taken advantage of, and the schools are simply unappealing to the eye. We are building a new school, but we have limited budget and space. We know that the recommended square footage per student is between 120 and 150 square feet. There will also be $5 million for additional costs. If you came up with a well-designed school that takes into consideration our budget with money and space, then we would build it. Our district needs the perfect school building. <laughs>